Hi, welcome to the complainers. It's me again, and today I'm gonna complain about leaving Vietnam. Leaving? Yeah, exactly. So, you if you don't follow me, you probably don't know. Here's as uh, here's like a a quick follow up for you. So, after I finished um, grade ten in Vietnam. I went abroad to the U.S. for high school, and so my junior and senior year were there, and then I my first year of college was there. Actually, just the first semester of college, and then uh, you know a couple things happened, and I have to come back to Vietnam. Um, and then I was about to move to Canada because I was sick. Of the United States of America, you know, like God, I was sick of the states, but it didn't work out well, and I have to wait it for months, like seven months, and now you know I just couldn't wait anymore, so I'm like I'm coming back to the U.S. and I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't know when this thing will come up, but um. Yeah, today is Monday. I'm I'm leaving on Tuesday. I don't have much time left in Vietnam. And why am I complaining about this? Well, this is like one of those weird things that I don't know, like um, how to put it into words. Like I just when I lived here, I never liked Vietnam. Well, or at least I don't like. I didn't like it that much. You know, like it was so noisy and crowded, and and not neat and tidy, like the way I wanted it to be. And then I moved to the U.S. I was 16 years old, so guess how excited I was. I was so excited. I was like, God, finally, I'm getting out of this place. I'm coming to like a a modern, big. And, and, and I don't like better country and yes there were things that were that were, that actually were better but um a lot of the things were not <laughs> and those you know not so great things are very personal like for example um in Saigon. I can just walk out of my house, and there are like vendors of food. Even I'm vegan. There is like so much vegan food here. Or I just step out, and there's like a grocery store that is actually selling good food, like and produce and stuff like that, right opposite of my house, or like a. For like a or even like a five minute walk from my house, and when I was in the U. S. in the states, um, it wasn't like that, you know. I come on, I'm I'm an international student, so I didn't have much money to spare, so I I had to live far away from center city, that I could afford the housing and and rent and and stuff like that, and the thing with leave um living. You know, like either more like suburb area of the city, it's it's tricky, especially when you don't have a car. It's you know it's far away from everything, and you just walk out of your doors and you just see houses, you know, residents, and there's nothing else. And I remember like the closest grocery store was like a forty-five minute walk from my house. Just imagine walking. Forty-five minutes, and get your one week worth of grocery, and then come back another forty-five minutes. Like that would drive me nuts, and it did. It drove me nuts. I was, I don't know, like there's are like so many convenience here that I didn't realize it was actually a convenience until. I, you know, I lost that privilege, and I'm coming back again. I'm very anxious because 
because when I was in the States, my mental health, like, bullshit was just absolutely shit. And it's not that, like, it's a bad country, you know? The problem is me. The problem is that I just couldn't, I just couldn't socialize effectively. I just couldn't manage my time. No, actually, I managed my time effectively. It's just like the loneliness and and the solitude that really drives me nuts. <laughs> God, I'm saying nuts so many times. Nuts. Okay. Um, another thing is that here I have my friends here, and you know I can just text them, and like thirty mi- thirty minutes an hour later, we'll be at the coffee shop near my house just talking random stuff you know that is how this whole podcast thing came up that is because me and Fu was um, just talking very random stuff and we were like you know what let's record this and make this a podcast show you know we're because you know, we're just I don't know <laughs> anyways um yeah and this is like i don't even know if this is a complaint but i i really struggled when i was in the states because of course i was living far away from my family and and support and i was really on my own especially when i was in philadelphia and i just you know my mental was so bad I wasn't, I wasn't like stressing out or, you know, like schoolwork was so hard. I was stressed out a lot of the time, but it wasn't as bad as when I was in Vienna. Well, you know, when it comes to studying, but everything else just was a mess. Like I remember like for a week, I didn't really talk to anybody. I just talked to the cashier at Whole Foods. Or Trader Joe's and that is um, that is not a good life you know and there was nothing wrong with my life if you look at it from like a I don't know like a more realistic perspective my grades were awesome uh, I didn't struggle financially at all actually I didn't I had plenty of money it's just me making the choice of not you know spending money like crazy I just make I made the choice and I was happy with that choice and I you know I like I actually like the city you know the city were like so I don't know so beautiful and and there's something um kind of vintagey nostalgic about it and I actually like the city it just the problem is me and I for the longest time ever I know it I'm the problem I just don't know how to solve it I just and I I probably didn't even bother to solve it and that is not helping and yeah and gosh I just I felt like a loser all the time not because that I actually am <laughs> just my emotions were all over the place and then and then I came back to Vietnam and everything got so much better you know there there are actually inconvenience here in Vietnam that I didn't have when I was in the States and you know it's just like a, a give and take situation you know you lose some you win some and but I actually really appreciate the time that I spent here and I'm just a little bit no not a little bit a lot like so worried about my life in the next three days because I'm coming back to the same spot at the same play the same school I'm not, you know, doing the same thing, and I don't know if this time is going to be any different, 
and this time, if anything is gonna be different, it's gonna be me, right? I'm different now compared to eight months ago. Oh no, seven months ago. But I don't know how different. I don't know if this different, you know, this change in me was because I was in Vietnam, or is it really me changing? And was the change for the better? I was just so confused when I made the decision to come back to the U.S. And even now, I'm still confused. And dude, I'm leaving in less than 24 hours. And and I don't know. It's a long flight. Probably it's gonna be tired. I'm already am tired. The thing was with studying abroad is that you know it's gonna be hard like everybody tells you it's gonna be hard but you never know until you actually you know halfway around the world from your family and it's not it's not like it's, it's too bad like I cannot handle it it's just I don't know like it just it's just somehow scary and I'm already 19 I'm gonna be 20 in like five months no is it five months four months and I'm no longer a child anymore I'm no longer a teenage well I'm 19 so I have four months left to be a teenager and I don't have the privilege of you know be being irresponsible and doing s stupid stuff anymore well not any longer I have to you know start to step up my game and and try to do better and I know that I just can't figure out a way to make it work and gosh and complaining like this I don't know if this even helps this, this probably is stupid and doesn't help anyone or myself but yeah I was just letting it out there just for you to know if you're going abroad and you're experiencing something that is not so great then you're not alone and I just want to tell myself, you know, the 17 years old me, 18 years old me, back in the States, that you're not alone in this mess. Gosh, I wish I knew that. I would probably feel better and, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this, I think this is enough. I, I complain for it. 13 minutes straight so this is <laughs> god can't believe okay all right i hope you get something out of this and yeah um see you next time